Mr. Perkins. You must be Thomas Wolfe. I prefer to get my rejections in the mail, but I wanted to meet you. The man who first read Hemingway, F. Scott Fitzgerald. Mr. Wolfe, we intend to publish your book. <laughs> Max, this is Mrs. Bernstein. Mr. Perkins. She's the first person who told me my writing was worth anything. Familiarity, I mean, there is with Michael. And I mean, I, Jude I hadn't worked with for so long. Colin, obviously, I've done a number of things with. But I think that's the beauty of being an actor and, and a working actor, which is what I can, I'm lucky to be. Um, in that position and you circle around. I mean, they're all great people. So much of what we do when we're making films is about the level of trust and playing, you know, in, in and on set. It's hard work, or it should be, but it's also play. So knowing, knowing the boundaries, knowing what people are willing and where people are willing to go with a character or within a scene, it just breeds a, a, a good uh, hotbed for collaboration and creativity. So, you know, in the hands of Michael Grandage, I played two pretty big parts on stage, which meant I trusted him implicitly. With Nicole as an actress, I knew from my past experience that she was incredibly brave, hardworking, and willing to probably push the envelope. So, it, what does it breed? It breeds trust.